The first, of course, February, Greg, is Black History Month. And there are so many events planned throughout the province to really honour the event every single day of February. That's right. Michael Young and his crew present non-trivial trivia night, and we welcome him back to the start. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Greg. Great to have you back on the show. And uh, Black History Month, obviously a, a big part of the landscape here in Manitoba. Tell us before you, you let us in on what you're doing mm-hmm. on that front, just tell us, remind our listeners about Non-Trivial Trivia Night. Well, we um, Non-Trivial Trivia Night is about learning. So our trivia events are open book, uh, which means you're not going to feel any pressure to make a guess in five seconds. Uh, the idea is to be asked questions you don't know the answer to, and we, we give you lots of time to look it up and learn. Uh, the quicker you find the answer online, the more points you get. But, uh, yeah, answering correct is a given. You don't score that way. You, you score by answering quickly. So uh, it's, an, it's a trivia game with a kind of a twist. We, uh, we play the game online, but we gather together over Zoom. And kids on Zoom, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> you got to get used to it, right, Michael? I've never, yeah, I've never had uh, any time a kid's jumped into Zoom, and he's always been, uh, been a, a blessing, you know. And uh, but uh, we do our things family friendly, so some, we get some families on uh, tonight. We're giving, a, I mean, sorry, not tonight, but uh, this Saturday, uh, the prize is actually a kids' book uh, about uh, uh, Viola Desmond. Uh, so we do have families that play together, uh, which gives them a bit of an edge, right? You can have a uh, have the mom on the Google and the kids uh, reading the questions. So it's a, it's a team effort sometimes. Learning for everyone. So that's Michael Young uh, talking about non-trivial trivia night. Also joining us this morning is Carrie McKay. And, and Carrie, I'm curious, when did you decide to get involved with this event? It's one of the trivia nights, but I know it was a lot of fun. And uh, probably within the last month and a half or so, Michael reached out and uh, found out if I wanted to get more involved with the organizing team. And of course, I clearly said yes, otherwise I probably wouldn't be here right now. Um, (laughs) But, you know, it's always been a really fun event to go to and learn and go into the events knowing that I really don't know anything about the topic that we're talking about. But when I leave, I know certainly more than I, I did when I came in and, you know, pick up a lot of fun information and learn about marginalized histories. Hey, Carrie, that's an interesting point. The, normally when you go into a trivia contest, you put your hand up to say, you know, yeah, I want to go on Jeopardy or, or something uh, less, uh, less high profile. It's because you feel like you know a lot about a lot of things. But I get the sense for, for a lot of your competitors and, and those that join for non-trivial trivia night, it isn't about proving what you know. It's maybe about finding out and learning what you didn't know. Yeah, exactly. And and a lot about how fast you can type in Google and, and know how to Google the right thing to get the answer that you want. So if you're good at Google, you're probably going to be good at this game. So, Michael, how is this working in conjunction with Black History Month? How will the trivia event work? Well, we partnered up with uh, Black History Manitoba. So we're going to be bringing, um, bringing you folks uh, Canadian Black History, which is a little bit... Uh, harder to find than what you what you find on online because uh you know the u.s is so much bigger bigger than us um so uh that's kind of how we're partnered up with them they they help us out with their zoom account and they're going to be attending as well if that um, did if that didn't answer your question if you could just uh be a little more specific. I don't, I'm at a loss to you. Well, you talked a bit about how you're yeah. going to look into uh, Viola Desmond, of course, uh, and a bit of the backstory there, which they, which I think the kids are learning a lot about in school, Michael, now. But it's actually, mm-hmm. quite frankly, not a story I was even aware of growing up. You might have known about Rosa Parks, and you just referenced the idea uh, that we maybe have a bet, better knowledge of our American uh, black history, but maybe not so much about Canadian or Manitoba. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, we started this thing... Um, a good year and a half ago, and we were learning all about the civil rights mu- movement and all the stuff that happened down down south. And around this time, I learned about uh, Black History Manitoba. On uh, might have been on your show, maybe, maybe not. They were on a radio uh, thing around this time last year, right? Because there's a focus on uh, Black history. So we uh, reached out with them, and they said, "Yeah, we'd love to work with you, but uh, we want uh, we want to help you um, promote Canadian Black history." So it's been a really interesting uh, learning experience since we've uh, connected with them. Carrie, I want to get involved. How do I do it? Uh, you can find us on social media. So on Twitter, we are non underscore triv, T-R-I-V. Instagram, we are non-trivial, triv, non-trivial trivia. Bit of a mouthful. 
And on Facebook, we are non-trivial trivia nights, and that's a group where you can kind of meet people and and chat a little about a little bit about what we are learning. And when's the next event? It's uh, this Saturday night at seven o'clock. Our registrations are on Eventbrite, and um, you can get the Eventbrite link uh, at any one of those uh, social handles that Terry mentioned. Um, Greg, I can send it to you if if you'd like. If you wanted to, I'd be happy to share it. People know your Twitter instead, and they, if people might be driving, they might not have wrote down everything Carrie saying. So. Mm-hmm. Plus, it's a mouthful to say non-trivial trivia, right, Michael? So we might, we might as well put it in writing on Twitter to get that done. I'm curious, is there like a prize or is it just more about the, the pride of winning the night or what happens like once you are declared victor? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Um, yeah, we, um, we get our books through uh, Tusame. Uh, that's Winnipeg's uh, Black-owned bookstore. And we, all, we really like to give away books that, are, uh, that kind of tie in with the, uh, with the topic. So uh, this week... Uh, You've got a chance of winning a book about uh, Viola Desmond. Sorry, Viola Desmond. Viola. <laughs> and uh, it's through Scholastic. So this is, uh, this is a good family prize uh, this time. All right. Michael Young, Kerry McKay, thank you both for joining us. And we'll look forward to Saturday night's event. What time does it get underway so I can mark it in my calendar? 7 p.m. Perfect. We'll thank you, Michael. Thanks, Kerry. Okay. Thank you. Michael Young and his crew, they present non-trivial trivia night. And, of course, Carrie McKay has been involved in it as well. It sounds pretty cool. And I like the idea that you don't have, like, you feel pressure to know more when you go into some trivia nights, Greg, right? This is more about learning as you go. And I love that aspect of it. I think about any time you sit down uh, with a book and, and you think, oh, yeah, I know all about uh, fill in the blank. And then you realize uh, what you didn't know. And that's a sign of maturity, supposedly, right? Yeah. The younger you are, the more you think you know. The older you get, the more you realize you, you don't know. And that's and that's just part of the maturing process. So uh, it's a fascinating way to go about things. And I love the trivia thing. But the whole idea, I think I'd need Brett McGarry on, on our team for sure because he's the master of the Google Foo, although you're pretty quick yourself in terms of getting things going. What's <laughs> those fingers light on fire, McNabb? Yeah, but my memory is no good. So uh, we'd have to... I think the better the team approach is better with.